This of an atom magnified over a hundred million times and made into a tiny movie. It's a famous example of a ton of actual images that we've taken of atoms. And my question is, how? Well, the smallest you can feed with your eyes is roughly 10,000 times smaller than a meter, like small grains of salt or individual hairs. Things much smaller than that don't respect enough light for our eyes to register. So some people invented optical microscopes, which let us see things down to 10 million for the meter. A shining light and using lenses to magnify the image, like of microscopic creatures or neurons, but poof, they're objects that even smaller than the wavelengths of visible light we're using to see them. So we need something even smaller, like firing beams of electrons, and then measuring how they get reflected or transmitted. That's how an electron microscope works. And like the seepings, like these high-res images of pollen or red blood cells or snow crystals, and even higher resolution microscopes that use the quantum properties of electrons can let us see individual atoms. There's so much of the world that we can't see with our eyes, but we can see with technology. And I think that's amazing. Please consider subscribing for more interesting science and tech stories.